Hi, good afternoon, guys. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm uh, Luis Medina with Century 21. Uh, today, I am in Spring, uh, in Spring, Texas, over here by Loretta, where I have this beautiful home for sale. It's a four bedrooms, uh, two baths, or two and a half baths, I'm not quite sure. I uh, don't remember. Two and a half baths, it's, uh, yes, it is. I just remember. But uh, it's a big house, over 2,300 square feet. And on top of that, it has a huge lot, over 1,700 square feet. So if you've been thinking about moving out to, to Spring because you want a bigger house, things like that, this is it. Don't look at any other houses. I've already seen them. Uh, there are some with lower price, but they need a lot of work. And the other one doesn't have the, it's 10,000 square foot uh, smaller than this one on the lot. Plus, this one has a three car garage. So like I said, there's plenty of room in this house uh you know for you to make changes and things like that but it's huge so there's plenty of room and now that is not the reason why i am doing this video uh the reason i'm here today is because um i had a great question uh a buyer was reaching out to me asking me uh a question well first she said hey look i already have an agent so uh thank you anyways and i said like, all right that's fine you know if anything changes i'm always here to help and I sent her some information, uh, which uh, which got her interest. And so she she says, "Hey, thank you for your information. I may need your help later. In the meantime, what? How can I get uh, this low offer accepted? A cash offer accepted? What percentage is the like the going rate? That, since this is a cash offer, uh, what percentage discount can I get off the sales price?" And I thought that was a pretty interesting question. A lot of people want to know that. When I am representing a seller and someone reaches out to me and uh, tells me, hey, I got a cash offer, but you know, we want, uh, it's gonna be this low from the sales price. I pretty much tell them, that's fine, you know, send me the offer, but you know, no, we're not gonna accept it. You know, we have multiple offers, you know, they're, they're loans or, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the transaction, at the closing table, my seller always gets a cash, uh, a check, or a wire transfer to their account. So whether it's cash offer or not, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It's going to be cash for my seller. So that's how I defend my sellers against uh, cash, low cash offers. But for the buyers who want to submit a cash offer, and um, they, you know, of course, you don't want to pay too much for a house. Uh, you want to get a little bit of discount. The main thing that I tell people, or the, what I do for my clients, is I write a list out, or you can write a list out, why you want to submit a low offer. Uh, is there things in the house that need work? Are the floors good? Maybe the floors need to be varnished, or, or uh, you know, the, a, lot of, a lot of houses have the, the hardwood floors, the original hardwood floors, but they need, they need work. Or the tile's not good, or maybe the granite is not the best granite, or the color scheme doesn't match, or the house needs paint. Don't be petty. Uh, I know on one of the offers that we received, when the seller to uh, to the house that I was selling was one of the seller. The buyers uh, said, "Hey, there's a there's a lint in the vent, in the dryer vent." Okay, now you're being too petty. You know, you you can scrape that out. That's not that's you shouldn't get a discount for that, a discount price for that. Uh, but as long as your offer is justified, you know, hey, you know, I looked around the house and the, the yard needs work, this needs work, or for whatever reason, all, all this stuff, you know, make a list. Like I said, don't be petty. Uh, a seller, when you send in a low offer, if you don't justify your price, they're going to be offended. And so you're not going to have a good uh, experience or get your offer accepted. But if you write out, if you uh, make a list of things at the house, these improvements, major improvements or uh, things like that. And then at the end, reiterate that this is a cash offer, that uh, why this is beneficial for the seller to accept this cash offer from you. Then you will have a better uh, experience. You may even get your offer accepted if, you, if, you, if you're if you willing to do all that or have your agent do it. You're, you know, make, make your agent work. Uh, have them prove their worth and negotiate a great transaction for you is what I always say. So uh, that, that's my that's my uh, that's the tips I have for you today. Uh, when you're trying to submit a, a cash offer and you want a discount or, or you know you want to make a low offer and you, you want to have the best chance of accepting it, don't just use 
the, re the, the cash offer, the reason to get the discount because that's really not gonna work. You need more, you need more substance there. You need to open their eyes so they can see what is what, what improvements are needed and how much it'll cost and that's why you're submitting this offer. And, and the best thing is like, hey, not only am I, uh, am I justifying the price that I'm giving you, but hey, it's a cash offer, so it's gonna be quick and it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that for the, for the seller. And that's how you entice them to accept your low, low cash offer. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, give me a call. My number is 713-884-0502. I'm in the Houston area. Today I'm in spring. Uh, I've been in Houston since I was six years old. So as you can see, it's been quite a while. Uh, so I really know the city. Uh, I'm, always, I'm in Humble as well. I, have, I sold two houses in Humble. And uh, so I'm very familiar uh, with the area. Uh, give me a call. Visit my website, uh, TopHoustonHomes.com. In the meantime, uh, have a great weekend. I hope everybody's enjoying the weekend and it's hot out there. And I do have a house over there in spring for sale with a pool. So if you're interested and you're hot, give me a call. I'll get you into a house with a pool. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.